Hello, welcome to the Maya Tobel. This is Michael. Today we're going to continue with our camera tools. We're going to be looking at View Camera Tools Dolly Tool. We've already gone over the Tumble Tool as well as the Track Tool. And so you can click those links over there to uh, check those videos out. But next on our list is the Dolly Tool. And we're going to click on the options here, double click this, and hit Reset Tool. To make sure our tool is reset to its default settings. So the dolly tool, if you can see my uh, cursor has changed to this uh, up and down arrow, but essentially it's a zoom tool. If I left click and drag, I'm zooming in and out. And I can left click and drag left and right, or left click and drag up and down, and it still just zooms in. And when you're using the default Maya zoom, which is alt right mouse button, you're actually using the dolly tool. If I turn off the dolly tool, so now I just have my normal, this is just a select tool. I'll close this. Hold down the Alt key, left click and drag is rotate my camera, middle click and drag is pan my camera, and then right click and drag, you'll see I have that same arrow again. And I'm zooming in, with, but it's actually dolly, dollying in. <laughs> Alt right mouse zooms in your camera while you're working, but it uses, it activates the dolly tool. That's under View, Camera Tools, Dolly Tool. And again, let's look at the options. So our first option here is Scale. And like the other tools that we've already gone over, the Scale slider controls the speed of the dolly. And right now its default value is 1, which means when I click and drag, we kind of zoom in at the same rate that I'm dragging. And we can increase this or decrease it. If I increase it to, say, 5, Minimize click and drag, it zooms in about five times as fast. If I decrease this down to like 0.5, it dollies in half as fast. So you can control the speed or the sensitivity of the dolly tool with the scale slider. We'll go back to one. Now when I reset the tool, you'll see I have three check boxes here and two of them are checked by default. Local and towards center. And the middle one, center of interest, is not checked by default. Before we go into these, let's create a new camera so we're not adjusting our default perspective camera. So let's go to Create, Cameras, and Camera. So we have this new camera in our scene. I'm just gonna kinda move it up here. And now let's go to Panels, Look Through, Selected Camera. So I'm looking through my new camera I've made. So now our default perspective camera won't be messed with while we're working with this one. But with this camera selected, and I go back to the Dolly tool, if I click on the Show Manipulator tool, you can see this handle up here. This handle demarks the center of interest. So when I move this handle, we're moving the camera's center of interest, so therefore my camera aims at the handle as I move it. So we'll go back to the Dolly settings. Right now we're set to Local. So again, I'm going to switch back and forth between the dolly settings and the show manipulator tool so you can see the center of interest handle here. So if I were to rotate my scene around, you can see my center of interest handle right here that I'm looking at. Go back to dolly. If I dolly out and go back to show manipulator, you'll see that the center of interest is still at that same location. Dolly in, show manipulator, it's still there. So back to my dolly settings, if local turned on, the center of interest point did not move with the camera's zoom in and out. The center of interest stayed put while the camera dollied in and out. With local turned off and I dolly in and out, the center of interest is actually moving with the camera. So when I dolly in like this and turn the show manipulator tool back on, you'll see that now the center of interest is way down here below the grid. It's still the same distance away from whenever I started moving, but it's just moved with the camera. So go back to the dolly tool and zoom back out. And you can hold down the alt mouse button to go back to your standard move and rotate, then let go to go back to the dolly. Show manipulator again, you can see my center of interest right here. And you can still move it around with these handles. That's whenever check or uncheck the local checkbox. 
By default, look was turned on, so your center of interest stays where it is while you dolly, but you can turn that off if you want your center of interest to, to move with the dolly. Skip the center of interest checkbox for now and go back and go to towards center. So by default, again, my tool is reset, towards center is checked on. So whenever I click and drag, we're dollying in towards the center of my current view. So if I click up here in this corner, click and drag, we're still dollying in toward the center. If I turn this off, and then click over here in this corner and drag, now you'll see what we're dollying in toward the corner of the view where my cursor was. So with toward center turned off, your dolly will dolly in wherever your cursor is. Like so. And with toward center checked, no matter where your cursor is, it will always dolly in to the center. All right, so center of interest. Now this one is a little bit difficult to understand sometimes, but with this checked, if I left click and drag, you'll see that I do not no longer dolly. Nothing really seems to happen. So what this center of interest checkbox does is it allows you to change the center of interest location using the middle mouse button and dragging. So again, let me go back to show manipulator so I can see that center of interest handle. And now go back to, now you see where it is right here. It's kind of in, in this little area right here. If I go back to the dolly view, middle mouse click and drag, the show manipulator has moved. <laughs> so it's a little hard to control in this way. So what you would have to really do to, to make it kind of controllable, by hitting the space bar and going to the four panel view, and I'm going to pan around until I see my camera. Let's see. I'm going to go to view, select camera, shift F, and it will kind of zoom everything in so I can see my camera like this. There it is. I'm going to turn off center of interest for a second and kind of dolly these cameras out some so that we can see the camera easier. All right, center of interest back on now. So now with my cursor in my perspective view, and again, we're looking through our camera, I'm gonna middle mouse click and drag, and now in my other three views, you see I have this red line up here. And as I move my cursor, as I move it left and right, up and down, you can see that red line start to get shorter. And what I'm actually doing is changing the center of interest point on the camera that I'm clicking on, like I'm clicking on the perspective viewport here, middle mouse click and drag, and you'll see a red line appear on the other three cameras indicating where the center of interest is moving. Because you can't see it on the camera that you're looking through. So it's kind of hard to control unless you're looking at one of these other views at the same time. So by middle mouse clicking and dragging, so now it's kind of close to the camera. You can see here in my side view, how the center of interest is kind of right there in front of the camera. Now go back to my show manipulator tool. So now you see how my center of interest has changed position. Okay. So kind of funky, especially if you don't know to look at the other view, right? So that's center of interest. Is this create a cube here? I'm going to create polygon primitives cube. Like so. If you ever notice your zoom doesn't work after messing with the dolly tool, go back and reset the dolly tool settings and now your normal alt right click zoom will work again. Because like I said, alt right click is actually activating the dolly tool. Okay, so I got this cube here, right? Let me just kind of put it here. I'm going to duplicate it and move this one over here. Okay, back to dolly. Okay, so I have my two cubes. Let's turn center of interest off and look at our snap box dolly 2 options. Reset my tools so we have our default values. Let's talk about a box dolly. When you hold down the control key or dolly tool, left click and drag, you'll see that my dolly tool icon changes to the little plus sign because we're gonna zoom in to the region that I'm specifying with my marquee selection. So I have control held, left clicking and dragging, 
and we're going to dolly in to the center of this area, like so. Now if I do the same thing with an object, but hold down the Alt key, so Control, Alt, left click and drag, and this cube is now in the center of my marquee selection, it'll snap the box dolly to the bounding box of the object within my marquee selection. So now when I show the manipulator tool, you'll see that my center of interest is on the center of the cube. Let me zoom out, and I'll do it with the other cube. I'll hold down Control, Alt, left click and drag with that other cube in my selection. Show manipulator, you'll see my center of interest is on the center of this cube. It kind of is the same thing as selecting the cube and hitting F. I'm kind of framing the, ca the cube in my view. Now let's choose Snap Box Dolly to the surface. I control, Alt, click and drag on this cube. In the Show Manipulator, you'll see now my center of interest is all directly on the surface of this cube. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, feel free to comment or offer suggestions for future videos. Uh, if you feel like I missed anything, definitely let me know. And thanks for watching. Talk to you later.